Assalamu alaikum. Hello, welcome back, guys. It's Rosalie. Welcome to the Ultimate World Music Reaction Channel. Guys, I appreciate you. I'm so happy that you stopped by. We are exploring something new today. I recently reacted to Soch, the band, a group from Pakistan, an amazing, amazing song. I was blown away and you suggest that I check out some of the Coke Studio Seasons. So that's what I'll be doing. I have multiple videos I have saved in my list that I want to react to. But today I want to check out something from Season 9. So I want to go back first a little bit. This video was put out 2016, has over 167 million views. It is Tera Wo Piar with Momina Mustehesan and Azim Azar. I'm really excited to check it out. Uh, this time I'll make sure to put the subtitles on. I like exploring things in their language and not always understanding at first, exploring lyrics after, um, and just really exploring the music, diving into it. But many of you asked, and so I'll make sure to put the subtitles on. I didn't think to even do that last time with the other video. But I'll make sure to do it now because many of you asked. That way we can, I can understand what they're singing in real time and then we'll dive into the lyrics after because that's what we're all about here. Music and psychology from all around the world. I am so excited, guys, because that song from Pakistan last time blew me away, rocked my socks off. Um, well, if I was wearing any socks. <laughs> um, but um, I'm excited to explore this with you. If you know about Coke Studio or you like this type of music, welcome. I hope you enjoy. If you're new to this, I commend you for trying something different. It's really cool to see how the different uh, things that I do on this channel bring different types of people, right? Subscribe, support, and let's dive in. Thank you for being here. Let's go. I'm excited. Coke Studio Season 9 The way they combine the piano and the sitar And then wind instruments, wow beautiful I want to say something real quick. This is very pretty, very romantic, definitely. The lyrics all about love and sleeping by the sky and someone show us mercy and kindness. Just very lovey, romantic and beautiful, very soft. Um, where my other experience was much more, it was much more spiritual and um, just very profound spiritually. This is, seems very sweet. Her voice is beautiful. She has a very soft voice, very clear and very clean, which is very nice. And it works well with his. He has, uh, to me at least, a little bit of this poppy voice, almost like, um, is he also uh, from Pakistan? Almost like the Pakistani superstar, right? That touch of rock, um, but a warmth to it. Both of them strong vocals. They sound like they have good breath control. Um, 
just able to blend well together. I feel like their vocal, the, 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 the texture of their voice and the sound really works well together. But I also love for the track how they combined things like the keyboard, the piano, with the sitar, with the violin, with the flute, really bringing and meshing the modern with the um, folk and the, the um, native instruments, if you will. I really like that. Very beautiful and sweet. And the lyrics, I mean, we'll talk about those in a second, but also very sweet. It's really a romantic ballad. La 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 Violins are a beautiful touch. Okay. Bringing in a little bit of that pop vibe. It says the Pakistani pop scene. Very dreamy. That's what it says in the description.
nice how we held that. <laughs> They're having such a good time. Oh my goodness, that was beautiful. Mo Momina, her voice, the, the description, it speaks of it being graceful or like, you know, that element of grace, so soft. And I really agree with that. Just beautiful, feminine, very just... Ah, beautiful. And and what she does, I love this about, you know, Pakistani culture, also the Arabic music, the, the, hey, I can't, I can't do it like that. I wish I could. Hey, like that, you know, this, the, the, um, the, not just the vibrato, but those, um, with Fauza, you often see those Arabic quarter notes, but just this, these vibrations and the way that they jump back and forth between notes very quickly, but they do it so gracefully and it was no overkill. It wasn't too much. It was just beautifully integrated. And then the way that Asim, I believe, is the gentleman, right? The way that he sings in this uh, song. Again, poppy, a touch of rasp, beautifully blends with her voice. The way that they were interacting with each other. I don't know if they're friends on a personal level or anything more than fellow musicians here. But th there was a nice interaction between them, enjoying themselves. Um, it wasn't over the top cheesy. And it got better every part of this song was just getting better and better and then it the pop vibe um increased in the description it says the pakistani pop scene of the bygone era i just kind of brought in those elements and it was a beautiful marriage between the piano the drums and then the violin the stringed instruments but then you also had the native instruments like the like the um uh, what did I say? Sorry. Like the sitar, you know, like the flute. Uh, and then, uh, uh, what is those, the per specific bongo percussion element that came in? I'm sure there's a specific name for that kind that really brought in that Pakistani, you know, um, not quite Bollywood, because I know from you guys I've learned that there's a difference between where in India, it's the Bollywood in Pakistan, in Pakistan, it is, ah, uh, la, 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 what is it called there? Mm, help me in the comments below. There's another word for it. Ra'ak, I think, or ra rag, rag. I'm not 100% sure. Let me know in the comments below. But we're, I mean, India, it's Bollywood. And Pakistan, it's more like the rag. And uh, it's just really beautiful. And the more that you, that I listened to the lyrics, the more it really had just very sweet and romantic. And at first it sounded like a love song of people that are actually together, endlessly reminiscing about you. I fall asleep next to the sky as I stand here waiting for you. The fragrant breeze reminds me of you. Stars meet the sky as your heart meets mine. You see very romantic, very beautiful, just the idea of using the celestial elements to compare love between people. And then um, the world has never heard of such a tale as ours. Can someone show me mercy? Um, the wish was that the world would see that there are no two such crazy lovers as you and me. So beautiful. Can someone show us some mercy and kindness? And then it changes a bit into we missed it. Um, we were concealing our love for each other and they go back and forth. We missed our step. There was no one to save us from stumbling. And then this idea that now it's being looked back on as a memory. The memory of your love will stay with me. My heart will not let me forget. You know, I could see where in America with Titanic and in Europe, it was every night in my dreams, I see you, I feel you. You know, and in, in, in and of itself, that could also sound super cheesy, but it was this big song, blew up, blew up love song. And to me, um, I could see how this is a love song like that, but with the beautiful culture of Pakistan. Um, I think I like it more. <laughs> um, never imagined this could happen. Um, you know, so really the memory of your love. So in the sense, a really personal, beautiful love song, but it just kept getting better and better. Absolutely beautiful. This was fun. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, support me on Patreon. Help me do this full time. Get yourself some merch. All the links below. Um, but I hope you have a great day. You rem Remember that you are loved and you matter. This was Rosalie Reacts. Until next time. Hey, y'all.